Welcome back to New England Living. Up next, celebrity pastry chef Tiago Silva shows off his tips and tricks for baking the ultimate sweet treat. Formerly the director of chocolate at Chew Innovation in Boston, pastry chef Tiago Silva is now the chef owner of Salt Patisserie in Newton, where he combines classic French and Italian techniques with Brazilian flavors. Known for his countless national accolades and TV appearances, his celebrity clients include athletes, actors, and musicians known the world over. We're here at the Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom. I am joined by Chef Tiago Silva of Salt Patisserie. Because you're here, we know you're making dessert, and I want to get that started. What are you making for us? Sounds like you're hungry, so let's, <laughs> let's go right into it. But thanks for having me. We're going to be making a creme caramel, which is, in Brazil, we call it pudim, it's something I grew up eating, and we're going to make it and show you how simple it is to make something delicious at home. So we have a really hot pan. It's been on for quite a bit, and this is going to help us make a dry caramel. So dry caramel means you're going in with the sugar, and that heat is going to almost instantly just melt your sugar and start to caramel, as you can see right away. This will prevent the sugar from crystallizing, which is a lot of times a big issue and why people stay away from caramelizing. Well, this will help that. You're gonna make it easy for us to do this at home, I'm right? Trying. Like okay. I want you to make this later when I leave, <laughs> you know what I mean? That is the goal. And you don't wanna add too much sugar at once. You just want it to start to melt and really caramelize. All right, so you see it started to get color. You're starting to get this beautiful caramelization happening with the sugar. And you want to get this dark because you really want to balance the sweetness. You want these bitter notes from the caramel. It really accents everything. A lot of times people see smoke, they think, oh my God, it's burning. It's not burning, it's okay. So at this point, really all you got to do is turn off your heat. It's going to keep cooking and we're going to add an ice cube. Okay. okay. Stay away when you add the ice cube, a little simmer. This is really just stopping the cooking process. And then, my favorite ingredient, a little bit of salt. Once you lose a lot of the bubbling, you pretty much stop the cooking from happening. And at this point, we're gonna pour it into our little jar. So we're gonna make four portions. Two for me, two for you, right? Uh, I was taking one, you said you wanted three. <laughs> when you think of desserts, you don't necessarily think of salt right away, but salt is in the name of your shop. Why is that? Salt is such a key characteristic to bring out flavors. I wanted to name my place salt, and, and salt is on everything. It's the one ingredient that's on every recipe. Speaking of salt, I saw you add some earlier to this custard. What goes into this? Yeah, so here it's very simple. It's milk, sweet condensed milk, which is something I use a lot in Brazil. We use a lot orange zest and vanilla beans, fresh vanilla beans. We bring it to a boil, simmer, and then we let it sit for 20 minutes. That's gonna bring out all the flavors from the citrus and from the vanilla beans, and then we're gonna make a custard. Now, what's the most important ingredient in a custard? Eggs. We have some yolks. You can do it with whole eggs. You can do it with just yolks. And all we're gonna do is strain our liquid into the eggs. Just a quick mix. You don't want too many air bubbles in there. Break your eggs apart. We're gonna fill up our jars. Then a cool trick to just pop some air bubbles is fire. So hit it with the torch. All those little air bubbles that you see there, fire just burns it out. Again, you don't wanna hold the fire too long. It's just quick to pop out your air bubbles. So next step, we're gonna go in the steam oven. It's gonna steam for about 20 to 30 minutes and then we're set. Now while that's in there for 30 minutes, making us wait for this dessert, right? What was the process behind opening up salt? I really wanted a pastry shop that's elevated, quality over quantity. You know, that's really what I preach. It's clean, it's inviting. We use quality ingredients and we hope to keep it going and get better. So this has been in the oven for about 30 minutes. Is this almost ready? It's almost ready. I know you're hungry. I'm, <laughs> I'm really hungry. <laughs> now we gotta cool it overnight though. Oh no, I can't yeah. wait that long. Luckily I have some ready for you. Okay, we like that. <laughs> Once you take it out of the steam oven, we wanna keep it in the fridge overnight, best results. So you can pop this out of the jar and eat it as is. Like it's that simple. But we're gonna make it nice. We're gonna plate it up. We're gonna do a little landing spot with the sponge. And I love using this with creme caramel just because the sponge is gonna catch all that dripping, which is really nice. So all that caramel is gonna come right up. So it's really custardy, as you can tell. It's almost trying to collapse on itself, which is great. All right, so what goes really well with this is some citrus. So we have some kumquats. We and have this some is an easy way to elevate this dish at home, right? Correct. Fresh fruit's always really, really good. And then we're gonna do some 
Vanilla. Wow, uh, look whip. at that. Okay, I like it really soft. We actually have little citrus ice. When you mix this all up, do you like creamsicle? Yes. It'll taste just like a creamsicle. All right, there you go. Look at that. That looks fantastic, my friend. I gotta try this out. Try it out. Gotta make sure you get a little bit of everything. Get in there. This is absolutely incredible. I love the citrus. Yeah, I love no, what it's it does very for the bright. dessert. Yeah. And for this dessert, we have Penfolds wine. A lot of people know Penfolds Grange from Australia. This is actually a tawny port, so this is a little unique. How will this pair with the dessert? It's a little bit sweeter than the overall dessert, and it's always better for that wine to be a little sweeter than the dessert, so it's not off-putting once you have it, so it pairs perfectly. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, bonding with nature never sounded so fun. We'll introduce you to a group of adventure seekers in the Connecticut River Valley, offering up trips of a lifetime. When New England Living returns, after this.